All right, so here's my first video. Let's go ahead and try to write a line that is parallel to a given line and goes through a specified point. So in this one specifically, it says we want to write an equation that is parallel to y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 and goes through negative 3, negative 3. All right, so the first thing you have to do when you're dealing with parallel and perpendicular lines is if it says parallel, remember that parallel lines have the same slope. So the only thing we have to do with this starting equation is to find the slope. So its given slope is 2 over 3. With a parallel line, the slope is the same. So we're still going to use 2, 3 for the slope. And the new point that we're going to use is negative 3, negative 3. So now you have a point and a slope. So we're going to put it into point slope form. All right. So you remember the point slope form is y minus y1, so would be plus 3, equals our slope, 2 thirds. And then x minus x1, in this case it's negative 3, so it becomes plus 3. Okay. So this is point slope form. However, we want it into slope-intercept form. It doesn't say that in the directions, but whenever we're dealing with parallel and perpendicular line writing, unless it doesn't say otherwise, we want to put it into slope-intercept form. Okay. So remember, to get it into slope-intercept form, we have to distribute, and then we isolate y. So let's distribute first, and we get 2 thirds x. If we have 3, it's like 3 over 1. <coughs> Our 3's cancel out, so it becomes plus 2. This is still y plus 3. And then we can go ahead and isolate y by subtracting 3 from both sides. So it becomes y equals 2 thirds x plus 2 minus 3, so minus 1. And your final answer is the equation shown. Okay. So all we did was we took the slope from the original line because it's parallel, we keep it the same. And then we use our point that was given and our new slope to put it into slope-intercept form.